Alright, what's going on, man? It's your boy L. Boogie coming through in the night Rowdy. And you know I'm blessing the Lord, highly favorite, excited about Jesus, excited about the word of God. My cup is running over and I still want some more. And I got a Landstar BCO. He's an independent owner operator with Landstar here. And he's going to tell you a little bit about his experience. What's going on, my main man? What's going on, people? This is boy Leon. How y'all doing out there? Yeah, so, uh, you, uh, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, how long, how long you been driving? Um, I've been driving since 1998. Um, yeah, 1998. Um, I started off with U.S. Express for a little bit, and I ain't like that. I switched around because I was young, young and dumb. Off the floor, you know. I switched around a little bit. Um, I go for um, you know, U.S. Express for about six months. Mm -hmm. I really didn't like it, so um, I came back to Columbus, Georgia. Off of Columbus, Georgia. And then I drove for a company, a whole company out of there. I drove for a couple of years for them, and I moved up to Atlanta in like 2000, yeah, like, yeah, like 2000, mm -hmm. and I just moved around, you know, got married, first marriage, and I did go in and out. Then for like about 10 years, I drove for Kroger, which was Atlas, over off Boulder mm -hmm. Then in 2015, I left there, I got tired of that, and um, I went over to, Ari Garrison out of Cuffin, Alabama. I stayed there for a year and a half. It kind of started out rocking. We, we had a public account that was real good. But after that, after that went downhill, it just went downhill. I did that lease purchase program. I really didn't like it. Um, I left I stayed for like a year and a half, and I left, moved around a little bit, and then recently I drove for KLM. I drove for Clem for about a year. I always wanted to come to last, I always seen the trucks and stuff. I was like, show the owner operators. I was like asking people, looking around, like, yeah. I said, I've been making all these bad decisions. I said, man, I will go to a company that supports you. I'm not another driver that, you know, that, like a number. Like a number. Yeah. Like, I want to get this, like, total owner operator. So, at, at the time, you know, my finances was kind of, I was trying to get the money up. I had money in my maintenance. But Claire would let me get my money, so I said, my wife told me, that, she said, step out there on faith, just get you. And then I thought about it, I said, you could drive for somebody. Somebody had told me you could drive for somebody. At Landstar? At Landstar. Okay. And so I started, you know, I put in, I drove Because for, they got for, different fleet owners. Yeah, different fleet owners. Yeah. So um, I made a um, guy named Buddy, um, and I started driving for him. He does, he, um, he has a couple of trucks, he does the Walmart. And, but I was doing the Avery. I did the Avery like we would go out like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I would take a trailer down to Mo, you know, down to Mobile Hill, come back and pick up a backhaul um, Tuesday and Thursday. And on Friday, I would just take a trailer down and come back. Now, was that good money considering that you was driving for somebody? Yeah, it was good money from you know from the standpoint of what I need to do until I got my money. Yeah, got my money. It's been a company driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was it was, good money. Yeah, good money. Been so, a company driver. Okay. And um, I did that for a little bit, and then in June, I was finally able to get my money down, um, get my own truck out with the um, company called Bulldog Truck Sales up out of, up out of, um, up in Cummings, uh -huh. Cummings, Georgia, up there. I got a truck and I started driving, driving for myself for a little bit, and um, it's pretty good, you know, but then, yeah, man, you don't have, you have some good days, you have some bad days. I got yeah, in the truck, yeah. man, and... Like the first month, man, it was good, you know. And like, like that second month, like, man, I uh, started June, July, August, man. <laughs> the truck rolled down, and I had uh, luckily I had that money that paid me this bro. I had to pay for toying and man, the whole range, and the orange. You down, you ain't got no money, and to get the truck fixed, truck in the shop for a week. So okay, get the truck out. Next week, truck break down again. I'm like, man. I'm like, man. And I'm just like, I said, God's like, wait, you trying to tell me something? <laughs> like, man, my wife looking at me crazy. You, man, but she, she's still sticking by me, man. But so far, at last time, man, I really like it. You know, I've been doing the Walmart for a couple of months, CNN, mm -hmm. been on the low board. But what I like about 
grand star, man. It's just, you got so many avenues to make money, and they want you to make money. It's not like, oh, I'm over here trying to hide low for my buddy. I want certain people to make money. If you get the load, you get the load. It's about everybody making money, and they are helpful. You talk to people, they are helpful as far as, as far as giving you the knowledge, the tools, and the resources. Mm-hmm. Like I tell anybody, you don't make it here, it's because of yourself. That was a lot of people told me. I saw it for myself. You don't make it over here at Landstar, it's because of, because of you. Yeah. Your work ethic. So, I met my man, L. Bulls. I had been seeing his um, videos and stuff, and I was like, man, he got a lot of good knowledge. And I was like, man, he's just sitting there. And um, I said, I um, started talking to him. I was like, I FaceTime him on, um, wow, I sent my message on message on Facebook. Man, we just started, congregating, started telling me about Landstar and stuff. That really made me like want to come all over because you the man of God and my family. You, know, you don't meet a lot of people like like that nowadays. So um, yeah, man, I just so far so good, man. I'm not gonna give up, I'm not gonna quit because you don't. Man, I say if you want to come to a good time, to come here, man. Because you gonna have your anything you do, you gonna have your good days, you gonna have your bad days. Just depend on God and everything else is gonna work itself out. Man. Yeah. That was good right there, man. So, um, I want to encourage you guys, make sure that you, first of all, that you like, subscribe, comment, and also, um, if you want if you want more information about Landstar, make sure you contact the Crossing Agency, a.k.a. the GAD Agency, and they can give you all the information that you need. Uh, it's 1-844-899-7919, one 899 Make sure you do that so that you can get the information that you deserve to have. And you deserve to come off the road and quit staying six weeks, six months on the road before you can have some home time. Uh, you stay de- home two days. Yeah, man. Yeah. You got right. a whole month, you stay home two days, go right back out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you keep that. That's for the birds, doesn't Yeah, yeah. You finally get to a place where you want to evolve and want to do more with yourself. And I was just talking to a guy today. He's there six weeks, and uh, you know, and then they then they want him to you know stay home for a couple of days or whatever, and then go back out there on the road, man. Oh, those days right there are over, over and done with. You need to come over, over here deep. and get your money. money, and you need to be like those people on that commercial of uh, uh, JG Wentworth. It's my money, and I want it now. It's my money, and I need it now. It's my money and I need it now! 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 Get over here to Landstar so you can become an independent BCO, an independent uh, independent owner operator, so that you can uh, get your money and you can get it now. So yeah, this your boy L Boogie, and I'm over here with my boy Leon. Hey, make sure y'all keep it in the road, keep it between the ditches. And we'll holler at you later. And we'll see you at the top. Because the bottom is too crowded. And you know what? We like our space. Holler at your boy when you see him in it.